Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. So this week we're going to be showing you guys how we use these reusable HDPE epoxy forms uh, that require no sealing, no silicone at all, to make one of these resin charcuterie boards. So that process could also be replicated on a larger scale because uh, we have these molds all the way up to 48 by 24. Uh, you're also going to see us delivering a bath stone walnut desk with resin cast legs to a client here in Calgary. And then we've also got this really sweet kind of like LED uh, wall art. So it's 10 foot by four foot curly maple and we got LEDs that go all the way around it. So I think you guys should enjoy that. Uh, and if you can, before the video starts, leave a like, uh, subscribe and turn that bell on because that really helps us out. Um, and also there's a giveaway if you guys stick around. There's gonna be a giveaway on this, announcing that later. Okay, so our new bay, our new location is coming along pretty good. It's not done yet. Uh, but we are open to the public now. Uh, I need my mask to go in. Um, but we are open to the public now, so we've got customers coming in, picking things out. Uh, we've got all of our slabs in, we've got these reusable forms in there, and it's actually Haley's first time seeing it. So we've got all of our big dining table slabs basically just stacked vertical along here. We've got furl slabs all kind of throughout, uh, charcuterie stuff. If you guys come here, you'll see Mark. Yeah. Uh, we got more of our reusable forms. So this is actually what I've got in the box here. Um, and what we're gonna do today is just kind of show you guys how they're used. So it makes it really easy because we sell um, the wood on our website and it's already pre-cut to lengths that would fit good in this form. So I've got the 18 inch form here and I got one of our 18 inch charcuterie boards off our website, fits in perfect. And then basically all I'd have to do is cut it down the middle if I want a river, clamp the pieces down for the epoxy. And so let's go see how they work. All right, so with these um, no seal forms, you, you don't even need to put silicone on them. They're completely reusable. Um, and this is the 18 inch charcuterie stock that I've got here from us. So I'll place one in, put it to the outside edge, place my other one in, uh, just make sure they're all the way. Um, what I could do actually on this one, I might cut it down just a hair shorter because the edge of this is just getting caught on the, the plastic bead on the inside. So it's not quite going down in between them. Instead, it's kind of sitting on top. So I'll just shave off a little of each end. Now these should go in perfectly. I've got them trimmed down to length. So that slides in nice. That slides in there nicely. And then one thing I might do is just grab an air hose and blow out all that dust that's in there. very scientific color selection process to ensure that we get the exact perfect color um, for that pour that we're doing. So you really just want to make sure that you're picking specifically um, and making sure you're getting that exact color you want. So this, um, this is the color you're going to want here. Uh, these, these four, this is exactly what you need. If you would have done it any other way, you would have got the wrong color. So we'll We'll mix these four and we'll see what they look like. <laughs> right, so here we go, we're gonna pour these in. I'll just start with these two, I guess.
Sweet. All right, so we have demolded our piece. Um, one thing you want to do before you go ahead and start planing is check your hardness. Uh, you don't have to do this, um, but if you want to plane it as quick as possible, you should check the hardness first. We recommend at least 0.75 before you plane. So we're at 0 0.745, um, 0.79 there, 0.785. So this piece is hard enough for us to plane. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, it's going to continue to gain hardness. When it's fully cured, it's probably going to top out around 0.85. So that would be when it's fully cured. But at this rate, it's not going to move or deform any bit at all. So we can go plane it. charcuterie board here in front of us. Uh, I've only sanded it to 320 grit. That's the same thing we do in our tables. Um, I wouldn't really go any higher than that for a charcuterie board because you want to get good penetration. Uh, then I'm going to be using the, the Pollux on here today. So I've also got a white scotch right here to apply it. I think on our website they're called our woven hand pads. Um, so just take some of your product directly on the pad and then you can use this pad to work it into the surface. You don't need very much of this stuff at all. Like the amount of product I have on there is probably gonna do about half of it at least, I would say. So we've got our coat of Pollux finished up on here. Um, if you guys were making your own piece, I would probably do at least one more on there just to have it uh, be totally sealed. But we are actually gonna be giving this piece away. Uh, it's gonna be on TikTok. It's not gonna be on YouTube because we've never done a giveaway before on TikTok. So if you head over to TikTok, you guys will see a post of us making this piece. And then you just gotta comment on that post and that's how you enter to win. And Joe really wants to win. He's pointing at himself, but uh, I don't know. Do you guys think we should give it to Joe? I, I don't think so. Okay, and then we have also got our first order uh, of our reusable molds going out. This one's going to the United States. And this client literally ordered one of every size, which is awesome for us to see. Um, these are them here. And this is the pricing that we have on, their, on our different sizes. So, <laughs> sorry for the phone. Uh, we've got as small as basically charcuterie size boards all the way up to like a decent sized coffee table. So if you guys are doing your own pours, definitely check these things out. All right, so we are here in Calgary doing a local delivery. Um, you guys saw that resin cast leg table that we were making, so that's actually what we're gonna be delivering. And we'll head inside the house now and see where we gotta go. Looks like we got a few stairs that we kinda gotta climb up, um, but shouldn't be too bad.
let us know what you guys think of that piece. Um, one of my favorite desks that we've done. I can actually see them in there through the window, checking it out right now. They look, they look like they like it. Um, we're super pleased. He was a super nice client to work with. Let us know what you guys think, and I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more of those resin cast legs here soon. Is this nice mood lighting? Well, we got our LED art piece finished up. Um, these are the two remotes. This one does the top, so we can change that one to whatever color we want. And then this one can also change. Um, so this was quite a process to get this in here. Um, we had to make sure everything was flush with our French cleats. Um, so I had to actually recess these power boxes in because they were too tall. So those are recessed in, Velcro down. Everything had to be super tight because we didn't have a whole lot of room to play with because um, since there's two power boxes, they're gonna need two power sources, so two outlets. And we don't want wires hanging down like this. So they're gonna be putting in an outlet probably somewhere in the middle here, but it's gonna have to go sideways because the rest of the French cleat goes here. And so, yeah, it's gonna be a fun process to get this in there, but it sure will be worth it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing how those uh, reusable forms work. We've, we've had them out for a couple of weeks now and they've been a huge, huge hit. Um, they just, they save a lot of time and they make things a lot easier. Like we've actually got, we use leftover epoxy. We've always got one on the go. Um, so if we need to, we just throw a piece of wood in, do a pour. This is a uh, Bubinga, I think Joe did. Uh, again, go to TikTok if you guys want to win that piece that, that we showed you that we made. And then I'm giving you guys a sneak peek right now of what we got going on next week. So. This is Clara Walnut Burl. It's for a client of ours in New York City. Um, really thick, we left this the full thickness and she's going with a color of resin we've never done before. Uh, I'm not gonna say what it is yet. You guys can make your guesses on that, but I think it should look really good. So you guys will get to see this one next week. Um, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next week.